In this video, we'll be exploring the various methods of using and customizing doors in Chief Architect. As with many of our tools, you can place a door quickly from the toolbar, as well as from the top menu under Build, Door, then selecting the type of door you want to place. You'll notice that when I'm placing a door, I'm not leaving a gap in the wall where I want the door to be. In order for a door to be placed, it must be placed in a full wall. The program will create a framed opening in the wall when an opening such as a door or window is placed. With the door tool selected, you will see a shaded representation of the door along with object snap feedback when you move your mouse cursor over a wall. This is useful for centering a door on a wall. And you'll notice you'll be able to center it on the interior of a wall as well as the exterior, allowing you to center the door specifically how you need it. While it is typically recommended to place and edit doors in plan view, like many objects in Chief Architect, doors may be placed and modified in both 2D plan views as well as 3D views. Even in the case of a doorway with no casing or jam, clicking on or near the edge of the doorway will allow you to select, move, modify, or open the specification for the doorway. Placing objects in plan view gives you more control over the placement of them, however, so we'll stick to plan views. I want to place an exterior door, so I'm selecting hinge door and moving my mouse over the wall where I want it. The door will place exactly as the feedback indicates, so if I use the snap feedback to center it on the appropriate side of the wall, my door may end up swinging the wrong way. For instance, I want this door centered on the exterior of this wall, however the feedback indicates it will swing out, and I need it to swing inward. And perhaps I want it to swing the other direction, too. I can click to place the door, allowing it to swing the wrong way, then select the door and correct it using the Change Opening Hinge Side and Change Swing Side Edit Tool buttons at the bottom of the screen, or I can force it to build correctly at the time I place the door. To do this, when clicking to place the door, I'm going to hold down the mouse button and pull the door in the direction that I want, allowing me to decide both swing direction and proper hinge side, creating the door where I want it and how I want it the first time. If you find that you need to move or adjust the door after it's been placed, you can use the edit handles that appear on a door when it is selected. To adjust the door's width, use the small square handles on either side. To adjust the swing amount, swing side, or opening amount, use the triangular handle located on the door panel, if applicable to that door type. To move the door, use the large square handle in the center to click and drag it to a new location. You can also use any associated dimension line to accurately locate the door a specific distance from a wall or another object. To do this, click on the selected door, then click on the dimension that you want changed, and enter the desired value. Note that if you're using temporary dimensions, the dimension may be different when selecting the interior side of the door versus the exterior side of the door. You may have noticed that when I placed this door, I selected the hinged door tool, and it placed an exterior door. I did not have to explicitly state anywhere that I wanted an exterior door. When placing a door, the program automatically determines if an exterior or interior door is needed, based on the room areas on either side of the wall the door is being placed in. For example, placing a sliding door in an interior wall between two rooms places a solid panel sliding door, while placing the same door type on an exterior wall, a glass sliding door is created. The style of door that is created is determined by the door defaults within this plan, and can be modified by going to Edit, Default Settings, and expanding the Doors section. Here you will find defaults for each of the door types available. Hinged Interior and Exterior, Doorway, Interior and Exterior Sliding, Pocket, Bifold, Garage, Fixed, Barn, and Shower. Selecting one or more of these defaults and pressing the Edit button opens the Specification dialog, where you can specify various elements, such as door style, height, width, and so on, allowing you to specify exactly what type of doors you want to use in this plan. Once a door is placed, it can always be changed later, but setting your defaults ahead of time will save a lot of time. I'll go ahead and change the default exterior door to use a different door style, and make it a 38 by 82. You'll notice that the original door I placed immediately changes to the new door style, but only the new door is the new size. This is because some defaults are followed dynamically, while others are static. Looking at the door specification, the door style says Use Default, meaning that this door will change to whatever the default is for that type of door. However, the size of doors is static, so new doors will be placed using the new size, which can be modified separately later if necessary. There are a number of other settings available in the door specification dialog that can be modified as well, such as sliding door offset and overhang for barn doors, panel frame size for panel style doors, louver size, etc. 
On the option panel, you can control the way door panels are generated. By default, calculate by width is selected, meaning that hinged doors under 4 feet wide will be a single door, but once they are 4 feet or wider, they automatically change to a double door. This can be overridden in either direction, regardless of width, by selecting single door only or double door only. The custom panel option is available for certain door types such as slider, pocket, and bifold door types, allowing you to make specialized door styles such as an accordion style bifold or stacked sliding doors. A number of other style aspects can be toggled or otherwise customized as needed, such as casing, lintel, lights for glass panel doors, jam, arch shape, and on the hardware panel, handles, locks, and hinges can be specified, as well as the sliding tracks and hangers for track-mounted barn doors.